Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use temporary email addresses. Now, you're probably wondering, what's that all about, Jace? Well, this is a handy little website that I've come across some time ago and I keep it in my favourites because sometimes I come across websites that require me to put in my email address to subscribe or something like that and then forever after I end up getting spammed with all sorts of mail so I'd rather not have this so I use a, a special temporary email address that self-destructs in around 10 minutes so it just gets me where I need to go so let me give you an example so for example if I open up a browser and I go to www.canva.com so there's the website, free design tool, presentations, video, social media. Basically, it's a place I'd like to go to get royalty free images. So if I click on it, it says sign up for free. So I go to sign up for free and it wants me to log in or sign up in seconds with any of these. And if I say, OK, I want to continue with email, I can then decide, you know what, I don't really want to use my own email address. So there is another tool and I've got it in my favourites. So I'm just going to open up a new tab up here. And I'm going to go to my favourites. And here it is here, temp mail. So it's temp-mail.org. And as you can see at the top there, it's loading my temporary email address. And there it is. So if I click on this copy to clipboard. And then I go back to the website. And I'll paste that in there and I'll continue. It now wants me to create the account so I can create it with a username. And now it's telling me to enter the code that we sent to that email address. So if I go back to the website, the temp mail website, I can see down here that I've been sent something from Canva and the subject is 137535 is your Canva code. So I'll click on that and I'm just going to highlight that code, go back here, paste it in and I'm in. So I can now navigate around this website without being spammed to death by emails. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.